Hello, beloveds. It's your girl Clementine from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Be open to receiving them. Mm -mm -mm. Beloveds, thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel, Big Empress Energy. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please like this video. Today's video is celebrating the new moon in Leo. So give it up for my Leos, my fire signs. All right, so to give it up for my fire signs, we're going to light this Palo Santo and just mm, burn it up. Okay, so today's pick a card, we have three options, okay? And the three options are predictions and what you need to hear from your spirit guides, all right, for your highest and best good for this new moon to see what is bringing you, boo, what is bringing you, baby, okay? So let's go with your instincts, okay? Let's practice using our intuition, okay? Tap in, tune in to see what number is cooling for you what pile is cooling for you and if the message be resonated with you please comment please holler at me ya tu sabes you already know what to do boo okay okay so let me show you mm, okay let me show you what it is what it do my lips are still a little bit dry actually so i'm gonna put on some aqua aquaforcito mm-hmm because yeah ya tu sabes okay let's go vamos now for my number ones this is an, what number one pile look like okay this is what number two pile look like okay and this is what number pile three is vibing like okay so let's do some inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale pick a pile and we gonna see what the new moon message is for you boo okay so let's start with my number ones can i get a oh crap for my number ones oh crap number ones what's popping you gonna have some fun we have the chariot quad so i see y'all going places y'all moving y'all shakers movers and shakers Three of Wands. Yeah, you really going. You might be traveling. Okay. You um this might this new moon might bring you travel or might expand your ideas in some sense. Might really stir something up. You have the ace of cups as well for your invitation. So I'm seeing bountiful love, maybe changes in love, okay? Yeah, okay, because we have the six of cups. This might have to do with someone from the past. But maybe you're moving on from someone from the past so you can kind of see what else is out there, okay? Because we can't get caught up in the past, Six of Cups, okay? Or maybe this is inviting you to, to you know, look at things with a childlike innocence, a childlike curiosity, okay? And then we have Palace of Wands. So that wand energy, this is fire. This is your creativity. And Chariot again. So I feel like the strong message coming in from your Chariot is that this new moon is taking you places, okay? And you're kind of being called to here transmute a spiritual internal experience and bring it outside there's a duality company happening in here okay when your your internal and your external need to be kind of matching up here okay so um basically realize the duality in you maybe there's a situation which you're like should i stay or should i go okay which way should you you know you have to make a choice what are you going to do about this situation are you going to go back into the past or are you going to be open to the future okay and i'm seeing here that you really have to stay open because spirit has a bigger plan for you than your own plan okay so don't get caught up in emotions all right take that action take that next step that you know you have to do listen to your body because your body is sending you the signals okay and it's sending it to you i felt like as just a knowing okay divinity so you might be really tapped into your divinity that you know you're a divine person you could be going through a spiritual awakening of sorts with the seven card here okay maybe that this cancer season was very transformative in a way that helped you connect deeply with your emotions okay maybe you had some closure with an ex and it's like opening yourself up to the possibilities okay we cannot keep the same person or the same things around and expecting the same you know different results okay and with that ace of cups here i feel like there's a new energy a new flow it could be that childlike creativity it could be that communing but it could also be you know 
feeling that love, you know, feeling that that compassion, feeling that un unconditional love and kind of moving past, okay, anything that was childish, like you're growing up, I feel like you're kind of seeing some things from like a different more mature perspective with the chariot okay and then you have the magi card okay so with this i feel like you are a magi okay so trust in your divinity my number ones trust in your and the magic in you okay that you have this divine in you okay and you might be waking up to your own potential um here with the ace of cups this ace of cups could be your ability to have love and compassion for yourself your ability to commune with nature your ability to commune with your with different parts of yourself and just seeing that that duality in you okay so with duality there's two sides here that are opposing but they're the same okay that's the thing about duality it's it's ultimately they're, they're two opposite ends this is a white bird and a black bird but they're still birds okay so you might feel like you you know a, dis a disconnect maybe you want to do something you're confused you want to do something but you're feeling pulled you want to do something else you want to stay with somebody but you want to be open to who who else is out there you want to stay at your job because you don't want to look for a new job but you, you know you really do want a new job okay reconcile the duality by really connecting with your solar plexus chakra this is your ability here to own your power this is your ability here to create beautiful things for yourself because you're tapped in your tools into your energy to your wand to your power to the love okay that is all around you that spirit is giving you that you have that divinity in you okay and the magi knows that's the thing the magi recognizes they're a magi okay with the high council okay you are seeing here that your guides are with you okay the high council is is a sign that your spirit helper your, your divine unseen team is with you they're helping you to evolve that's why i'm saying you're kind of being elevated here okay you're kind of graduating from maybe a childlike thing into like more like an adolescent vibe and not saying that you are an adolescent but it could be like a maturing of sorts you're, you're called to evolve you're called to merge the duality these two things something else is going to rise from it okay and then you have balsamic moon which is a time for healing okay so this is really calling in that this moon phase for you is going to be a time for you to heal to reconcile the past to nurture these old wounds okay this could be inner child wounds memories from your childhood as well that have you feeling stuck okay that you are feeling still like that childlike person in you that that inner child but it's like you kind of have to be called to expand it ace of cups see what else is out there there. start again refresh renew recenter okay so that's what i'm getting here for y'all number ones okay for this new moon so this leo new moon for y'all is going to be one that is going to stir up maybe some polar opposite some duality okay but it's actually a gift it's actually a blessing that something is going to come beautiful from these opposing forces tune in with your solar plexus chakra your ability to create okay maybe drink some lemon water mm -hmm. that could be very helpful as well get your body alkaline okay um and tune in if you're trying to figure out okay how do you reconcile this duality it's not about thinking, it's not about going back and forth and not about tuning in too much to your emotions, but really acting, making actions, doing something, okay? Don't get stuck in stagnant. Don't get stuck in apathy. Don't get stuck in entropy, okay? You have to kind of um, merge something out of this, create something out of this, okay? Make magic from it. Be wise about it. Be wise with it, okay, beloved? So that's what I got for y'all number ones. Okay, so if the message resonates with you, please comment. Please holler at your girl. Okay, can I get an okra for my number twos? Okra! Da, 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 da. Number twos, what it do? Mm. We got the queen of wands. Ooh, big witch energy number two. Also fucking with them Leo vibes. You might be a Leo, celebrating a Leo. Maybe you have a Leo moon and this could be a lunar return. Like for my mom, she's a new moon baby. So this is like her solar, her lunar return is so beautiful. Nine of swords. Oh, 
sleepless night anxiety seven of cups maybe because you have so many options and you're kind of not sure which to choose from okay and you're kind of over analyzing everything here um with the king of wands as well you have the king i love to see the king and the queen of the same suit reunited here so this is a beautiful again duality i'm seeing and uh, you coming into your power maybe you do have a lot of leo or fire in your birth chart maybe you're being called to ignite that fire within you to reclaim your power to make magic here to fuel your creativity to tap into and to create something this new moon okay to finally kind of take your power i feel like you were just you had a decision to make you had too much okay to do okay you have the two of coins you have to find the balance okay you're trying to balance maybe too many things too many illusions you want to do this you want to do that but you want to do this and you want to go here and you want to go there and you want to do this and ah 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 you had to chill okay because you're working yourself up you have the nine and the ten of swords so this new moon you might be feeling a lot of anxiety around something okay a lot of anxiety around having to make a choice a lot of anxiety about letting yourself be seen anxiety about having confidence being brave showing up for yourself for yourself okay having yourself be seen mm -hmm. okay because the fire energy is about that light that spark within you okay and when i'm seeing these swords the nine and ten of swords it's like anxiety around being yourself Maybe someone's gaslighting you, okay? Maybe someone's not not seeing the, how powerful you are and you're like, am I that powerful? Or maybe you got caught up in someone in something that is really kind of distracting you, okay? That is really taking away from your power. And Spirit actually really wants you to reclaim your power by refocusing your priorities, by taking a couple of things and focusing on those two things. You can't focus on all the bullshit, okay? Because it's gonna deplete your energy and your energy is your most vital force, okay? Your energy here is what is letting you shine okay your energy here is asking you to be open to be receptive but also to be bold also to be known okay so there's this delicate balance i feel like you have a fire within you okay and it's like be a firecracker okay don't be you know letting things pile up in your head and in your head and your head you're not really making them actions okay with the two of pentacles, you're being called to ground all this stuff that's happening in your head, okay? Being called to ground it by minima minimalizing, by prioritizing, okay? Um, you guys got waning moon, okay? Introspection and self-inventory. So for this, it's like, okay, this is asking you to think about what's been happening recently, okay? Or what is what are the feelings that you're going through in the in the recent months, okay? Maybe in the recent months, in the recent days, what has been giving you that anxiety? What has been floating around in your head? What has been taking your power from you? What has been robbing you of your power? Who has been backstabbing you? Okay. Is it yourself? Is it yourself? Because you're mad powerful and no one can take away your power unless you let them. Mm -mm. Okay. So be introspective. Have that. Go through that self-inquiry process. Okay. And this isn't talk, thinking about the external, what's going on with him and her and you. It's about you. What's going on with you? You are the star, okay? You are the king and the queen, okay? You are the sun and the moon. <laughs> Self-love. What I say, okay? It's not about them. It's not about you. You got to call back your power, okay? It's not about everything else. It's about what's going on with you, boo. Self-love. So nurture yourself, okay? Do something good for you this this Leo new moon, okay? This might be going out and getting your mani-pedi. This might be out getting your herded, okay? Whatever it is for you, I feel like I want you to do something. I want you to embody something in the physical sense. I want you to take action. I want you to do something. Maybe go on a boat party. Whatever it is, or, or, or something for yourself. Something relaxing. Get a massage, okay? Do something that's going to take away from from these swords okay this one's gonna fuel you you also got past life okay so you might be dealing with a past life issue here maybe you also could have been dealing with a lot of anxieties in your past life and they're coming up this you're reliving the same thing saturn might be here teaching you something you also have intuition so this new moon i feel like your intuition here is asking you to, to tune in with it this means say hello to your intuition this means say hello to yourself during that self-inventory during your introspection introspection your self-love spirits asking you to focus and give yourself that love okay 
treat yourself like the queen you is okay and the king you is with that power that regality you're honoring yourself okay you're not stressing yourself out with Things that are beyond your control. All your, all you are in control of is what you think about, what you spend time on, what you are letting flood your mind. Okay, but really stop analyzing. Tap into that intuition. Tap in with the feelings. Go with the gut. Okay, you guys got super moon. Emotions are running high. Again, whatever is it is as going on in your head is driving you crazy. It's got your emotions running high. And spirit is saying here, ask your body. Your body knows, okay? I love that Lindsay Max said, your body is an oracle. And like, I, I feel that and it's 1000% true. Your body is going to let you know before your mind does. But you, once your body lets you know, your mind's going to have a response and your mind's going to be like, yeah, it's not that. It's this. It's, it's all the fucking swords, okay? It's piling up. It's piling up. And I can't breathe. I'm flooded. Ah! Calm down. All right, recenter yourself, recenter by asking your body, by tuning into your intuition, because I'm sorry to let you know that she was a very powerful, very potent, very magnetic, very courageous person, and you might be giving your damn power away. That's really driving me crazy. So this new moon, take back your power, okay? When I say this, is like, don't let yourself get flooded with emotions flooded with analyzing flooded with this happened this happened then this happened and i don't know what to do i don't know what to choose it's like you actually do know it's that you don't want to listen okay self-love listen to yourself because if you don't you're going to regret it anything that you're gonna do that's gonna mess you up is gonna be based upon fear okay so this new one's asking you to tune in here with that that leo energy okay leo energy is creative energy Leo energy loves itself. No one loves itself more than a Leo. I'll tell you that right now. My mom's a Leo. No one loves themselves more than a Leo. And it's a beautiful sight to see. It's beautiful to see someone with that much, you know, confidence and, and value in themselves. Okay, so it's like don't lose faith in that. Don't 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 get sidetracked by all the other things happening because you it, you are a very potent, powerful, beautiful person and your intuition is right about something, your body is right about something and you got to stop letting your mind trick you. So this new moon, that's the message for you. <laughs> if the message resonates with you number 2, please comment, please holla at your girl, ya tu sabes, okay? Okay. Let me drink some cafecito. Mm. Um, so good. So good. The lighting is just like really messing with me though. Okay. Can I get an okr for my number threes? Okr. <sighs> number three, you guys got two of swords. Mm. King of Wands. Her. Why do I feel like all of these are so, like with the two, you had the two of pentacles in the last one and the king of the, in the last one. So like crazy. All right. And the magician card. Woo! It's reminding me of Mercury. She's about to pop all for you. I feel like number three is, uh, is feeling very lucky to me. Okay. Two of swords. I feel like you're taking your blindfolds off because you're finally seeing where it is that you want to go. And you're finally realizing you can kind of do whatever it is that you want to do through your communication, through your actions. Knight of Cups. A lot of messages are going to be coming to you, offerings coming to you. King of Coins. So you're going to be able to make some money. You're about to be able to make some real power moves, okay? Ace of Swords. By communicating your truth, okay, by using your intellect. This is a very, very powerful um i'm reading for you y'all y'all you have some very powerful um court cards and so let's get into what's the new moon bringing for you number three okay so two of swords i feel like if you were trying to make a decision spirit is saying like take that risk do it jump stop doubting yourself okay just do it you don't have to know everything you don't have to be a professor to do it you don't have to be an expert to do it if you're gonna wait till you be an expert let me tell you something you ain't gonna do it. You're gonna still wait. You're gonna still come up with excuses. You're gonna still be like, nah, 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 I can't because of SOS or that, that. No, no. 
it's time to just fucking do it number three okay king of wands you're a visionary you have a lot of power here okay you have a lot of ability to take your vision to make a lot of money okay to get your finances right um because things are really looking up for you your mind your brain is finally is working for you okay you're going to be getting in communication with people this new moon that are going to be helping to expand your brand, perhaps helping you to expand your knowledge, helping you to perhaps um, travel, but maybe not travel like from place to place. But I feel like your mind's going to be expanding. OK, your mind's going to be like over this new moon. OK, things are going to be really working out for you. I feel like you're going to be having a lot of rapid, rapid um, expansion. OK, with the magician card, there's a something that you've been here, like kind of plotting on and you're finally being able to see that you can manifest it okay that you do have the knowledge you have the prior life experience you have the right connections you're at the right place at the right time and the opportunity is going to come a knocking in this this new moon okay and when the opportunity comes a knocking you better be talking okay with that ace of of sword spirits asking you to speak on it that means don't be afraid to say what's on your mind that means shoot like shoot your shot okay shoot your shot the worst thing that they could say is no but what i always say is if i don't ask the answer is no you feel me so i need to know what's up like we gonna do this or not and i feel like you have that potent energy it's gonna be popping for you people gonna be giving you what you want and it's gonna be like oh God, yes <laughs> yes okay you guys got gross so i feel like you are like i said coming into yourself evolving helping your like you, you are you guys are growing at an exponential rate here with that king energy there's going to be an offering here okay you're going to be talking to the right person at the right time so pay attention to the conversations you're having around this new moon okay around perhaps your passion you guys got red this is calling you to pay attention to your sacral chakra not, not sacral chakra but your root chakra okay your root chakra wow and then you also got third eye chakra so because we, i'm seeing that connection here with that two of swords like open up your third eye and just kind of go and lead with that your third eye has the vision not the two eyes but the third eye that means going with it doing with it not waiting for your your mind to be ready okay again your body's ready you have that that vision and with that root chakra okay with the red it's like do you believe that you know you have the foundation to actually do it okay you do have the foundation spirit is saying you do have what it takes here you have the foundation to grow you have the foundation to expand your third eye is trying to show you something it's trying to show you that you actually do have already everything so really trust and go with it you have new moon in sagittarius now the new moon's in leo but they're both fire signs and it says luck is on your side what did i say when that, when i started this reading i said y'all are very powerful and right now now there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming to you it's going to be a lot of beautiful things happening and luck is on your side okay so that means that there is going to be some sort of offering here you are going to be able to communicate with someone and kind of set your sights high okay you're going to be able to here make some extra money okay or at least people are going to be looking at you like a visionary looking at you trusting your plan trusting that you know what you're doing you have the full moon so perhaps this new moon what you would like to what you would like to do is take that vision that you do have okay take that financial plan okay take whatever it is that you have sitting in your third eye that you want to do but you're stopping yourself from doing whatever that is write it down ace of swords communicate it maybe you want to do voice notes whatever it is for you that is communication that feels good to you not everyone likes to write not everyone knows how to write it doesn't have to be writing but communicate this idea put it out into the universe how you don't have to write it you don't have to record it if you don't want to just go out at night tonight or during the day and say state your intentions what is it that that you want to see what is the vision that you have what is it that you want to manifest okay i'm saying manifest because you have the magician communicate manifest the new moon what is it what are your intentions that you want to um, see happening and culminating around the full moon okay the full moon is your is your culmination so i feel like think plan backwards okay know where you want to go and then take where you want to go and that's how you start the plan okay that's what that's what his teachers do okay we die okay we want the students to learn how to you know analyze a text okay by you by compare and contrasting so we're gonna go that's the end goal we're gonna plan how we're gonna get there okay so that's what you want to do start from the end and think about okay how we're gonna get there and 
kind of just by trusting your intuition okay by trusting that you are in the right place at the right time by saying yes to whatever opportunities do come by speaking you know your truth and you're going to be able to start something here fresh start something here new okay i say new and fresh with that ace it's a beginning it's that power okay I feel like you got to cut off anything cut off those blindfolds cut off the blindfolds and really just you don't need them okay you can see clearly here with your third eye telling you okay just go just go for it you have the vision okay and you guys could also be wanting to connect with with multiple people okay so this new moon could be a good time for you to like go out and like talk to people like start you know networking okay because i feel like community is really going to be helping you okay and it doesn't have to be specifically in person community this could also be online community okay but whatever it is i feel like you're going to be linking up with the right people be careful around the people that you surround yourself with because they can add to your energy or they can subtract from, you, from your energy and you don't need anybody around who's going to take away from your energy because you're that king and people might want to leech onto them leech onto you leech onto that but you can see what your third eye chakra okay you can see what and you know so listen to that and do some work here too with the ability that you have that foundation that groundwork to grow from eat red fruits okay strawberry raspberries and tune in with that that ability that you do have to create because you have potent manifesting abilities, potent creative communicative abilities. Maybe you have a gift of gab. You're a spectacular writer. You're an intelligent person. And I feel like finally things are going to be starting to align with this new moon in Leo. Okay. So take your opportunity. Say yes. Okay. Be bold. Be brave. Get out there. And know that just because like... You have to start somewhere, okay? You're not going to start where you want to end up, but you got to start somewhere. That's what I got for you guys, number three, okay? So if that message resonates with you, please comment. Please holler at your girl, Yatu Sabas. You know what to do. I love you guys so much. Please like this video. Please subscribe. Please share this video with your homies and your frenemies and everything, okay, my loves. And if you would like a private reading, info's in the description box, clementinechloe.com. Follow me on Instagram at Big Empress Energy. Okay, my loves, and peace.